Hi right, everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, and this is another episode of the Insane Asylum, known as WFAN, but this is a crossover with the worst Mets fan in the history of the New York Mets, that Barstool Clown, Frank Fleming. They're coming to take me away, haha, they're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, haha, to the funny part. You petty, petty man. You don't want to hear any criticism that you have not, you have failed as an owner. You have completely failed. You've been nothing but a disappointment. And now you've blocked me because you don't want to hear the fucking truth. Now, welcome back to the Baseball Hut 2. I hope you liked this video and hit that uh, subscribe button. We're going to talk about the insane asylum known as WFN. Now, these, uh, Articles I'm going to read to you popped up on my Twitter timeline. You need to follow me on the Twitter at the uh, Baseball Hut. And uh, but it was interesting is that we've talked about this for quite a while now, for the last few months, that the Mets do not get any benefit of the doubt. Zero. Zero from anybody, especially the media. They have a, a mantra. Uh, when the Mets do, whatever the Mets do is wrong. And when they do it right, it's wrong. And it's now we have a new thing. And it's damned if they do, damned if they don't. They sign a player, they have to find fault in the player. They don't sign a player, well, they're cheap. Uh, they don't want, the player doesn't want to come here. Uh, the Mets have decided they don't want to, like, trade any of the prospects. Well, they're not doing that right. Um, on and on and on. And this has been going on for, for years. Now it has gotten to a point that I am having to address this on this little channel, and you need to subscribe to the Baseball Hut too, again, uh, because you'll learn everything uh, with my interpretation of what's really going on behind the scenes. But let's sort of think about this. Think about other teams. Do we see this kind of criticism for other teams? No, as far as I know. Where everything they do is criticized. Everything. A minor move is criticized. Uh... A minor signing for a minor league player. Uh, we know from other videos with Barstool Sports, that guy Frank Fleming complains about the Mets signing particular minor league players. Nothing can please this guy, but you have to understand something. If we get back to the fan. Barstool Sports hired Frank Fleming after Barstool Sports failed to buy the Mets in 2020. Dave Portnoy, the pizza guy, uh, hired Fleming in 2021. Now, Fleming has been working for them for three years. Okay? Three years. And in that time, he does nothing but complain about the Mets. Um, from what I understand, somebody wrote to me on this channel when I did the last video saying that they went to a game opening day uh, this past year and Fleming was sitting behind them. And he would not shut up during the whole game. Did nothing but complain and belly ache. Said, enjoy the fresh air and watch the game. There's nothing worse than someone who doesn't stop talking either at a movie theater or in a ballpark. As far as I know, I don't think he's a, he's a drinker. Couldn't I don't know. Um, but he does complain a lot. So, you know, he's not much of a fan. He's a, he's a lousy fan. He's not. He's, a, he's the worst fan in Mets history. And I've said this. Now, I came across these two articles. And this is what... The lowest IQ member and employee of WFN is Keith McPherson. Uh, he's he's the he is. If you want to know what he thinks, just follow every alternate account and what they say about the Mets. Mets are gonna Mets. LOL Mets. There's nothing. There's nothing original. He is a college graduate, so you know the IQ is not that high. I am a college graduate myself, but let me read you from Odyssey.com. He attacks, in these comments, he attacks the Mets, he attacks the Mets' ownership, and he attacks uh, the Mets' players that they're trying to bring in and, and sign. Again, whatever the Mets do is wrong, and when they do it right, it's wrong. This is an example of Steve Cohen, the Mets' owner, doing it right, but according to this Yankee shill, this is not my words, this is his words, he said that he was a show for the Yankees. Is he a paid show? Is he getting payola? We know the relationship with WFAN and, and Barstool Sports. They have a very strong relationship with the morning show. Just keep that in mind. So here we got a headline from Odyssey. K 
Keith. I don't know why they don't say McPherson. So you, you read Keith and you're thinking this is Keith Hernandez. What has Steve Cohen done to get so much respect from Mets fans? Well, uh, goofball, uh, you're not a Mets fan. You're a Yankee scum. As Mets continue to make marginal moves after arguably the most disappointing season in franchise history, Keith wonders why Steve Cohen seems to have unconditional support from the fan base. Well, first of all, Keith, he talks to us. The, Cohen, the, the Wilpons never did. And he's a fan. Uh, quote, Steve Cohen came in and told you there was a five-year window to win a World Series. They're still in that. They're still in that window, by the way. He flip-flopped. He's gone back on that. Let's pretend he never said that. Hey, Keith, we're into year four of this situation. I think it's funny how Steve Cohen gets so much respect and is treated with grace that the Wilpons were never treated with. Uh-huh. What has he done for you? Oh, he won 101 games two years ago. That was an embarrassing exit at that year. Now, I would mention the Yankees lost 80, 182 games this last year and have been an embarrassment. They've not been to the World Series since 2009. Uh, Cohen admitted the five-year window of decoration when he took over as owner was a little likely premature, but Keith says it seems like Cohen is set to make the fans wait a little long, a lot longer with how he's currently operating this winter. Always got to wait now. Wait, 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 Keith said. The Met fan always has to wait. I thought it was a win-now mode. I thought it was championship or bust. I thought this was a new gold standard in baseball. No, no, rookie owner doesn't know exactly what he's doing. Keith, do you know what's going on? We know you're a troll, okay? Uh, and you're a Yankee scum. So, this is, again, there isn't anything intellectual here. He's just regurgitating things that he's heard other people say. Uh, how he's gotten on the radio. Oh, I know, wow. It's an SJW hire. And McPherson continued, again from Odyssey, B Squad Mets picking up Yankee castoffs. Uh, the Mets signed Harrison Bader to a one-year deal on Thursday, and while Keith didn't see it as a bad move, he wondered how many more former Yankee castoffs would be converted, coveted by their rivals in Queens. I don't, this is so stupid, this is. I don't hate it, I'm not going to troll you, not. I think it would be more like a slow roast tonight, you know, okay. Over the course of five hours, I'll throw little jabs and jokes here and there. I don't look at him as a funny guy. It's not a lot of yucks here. We get it, they're the B squad, isn't this nice? That's the second team. The Yankees are DFing guys and are going to go to the minor league squad, but I don't hate the move. One man's trash is David Stern's treasure. I would mention that when David Stern's was with Milwaukee, they won a lot of games there. Six of the la three of the last six years they've been in first place. I don't think the Yankees have. But I don't hate the move. I don't know he was a Mets fan. This is David Stern's. You're moving like a Yankee fan. You're moving like you watched the Yankees last year. He sees a clear reason behind several former Yankees being brought in by the Mets this offseason. And it starts with the new, Mets new manager, also brought in from the Bronx. I, they don't care about the Mets fans, he said. They're making these moves for Carlos Mendoza. I get it. It makes sense. Mendoza has a relationship with these guys. No asshole. They're doing it to make themselves better. Um, Harrison Bader is one of the best defensive center fields in baseball. Uh, by far. And coming into the job, David Stern said that he was going to bring in guys that were going to be good defenders and be able to prevent runs, which means good defense. Uh, McPherson, you have to understand something. And I didn't realize this until after I started Googling his name. Because some of these comments are very interesting. Uh, according to... Uh, Frank Fleming, who gets everything wrong, but pretends that he gets everything right, said that Carlos Mendoza will go down as one of the worst matches in baseball history. That the Mets will lose 130 games, 110 games over the course of him being manager. Um, now, I thought about I thought about this. It's like some of these things are very interesting and they're very eerily similar to what Fleming has said that I've been watching the last week or two. Um, I know it's interesting. I put up a couple of tweets here. Um, one is from December. Now, when I Googled Keith McPherson's name, I was like, let me look at Barstool. He did an interview with, with Frank Fleming back in December. December 15th of 2023, he did an interview with the worst Mets fan in, in Mets history. 
And he's been a supporter of this guy for over two years. When that slob, I mean, when, when that clown, I mean, when that Mets fan, that bad Mets fan, uh, was um, protesting the lockout, he t- retweeted a picture of that slob, I mean, of Fleming. Interesting. So they have a relationship. So he's propping up the worst Mets fan in Mets history. And we got one of the worst talk show hosts in the history of WFAN uh, getting my attention. Uh, and he'll continue to get my attention. This is this is low IQ attacks from a Twitter troll made into a talk show host on the biggest uh, radio station sports talk show host uh, in the country. I would mention uh, sports talk is not doing well. And a lot of it has to do with this nonsense. Uh, how do you have somebody on a radio station attacking a large fan base of a city and then pretend that this is entertainment? This is the same mantra. He does it much worse because he's constantly doing it. And he's not funny at it. Uh, like I said, a lot of the things he's talking and, and, and putting out there are things you can see on, on Twitter. Like I said, he's low IQ. Now, we're going to talk more about this because obviously he will... I mean, I will say this. We haven't done any videos for the last two weeks because uh, these clowns on the fan on the fan uh, have been on vacation. But they always provide a lot of entertainment because of their stupidity and their insanity. And this is another episode of the insane asylum known as WFAN. They're coming to take me away, haha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, haha, to the funny part. You petty, petty man. You don't want to hear any criticism that you have not, you have failed as an owner. You have completely failed. You've been nothing but a disappointment. And now you've blocked me because you don't want to hear the fucking truth.